Hi and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we have a quick and simple experiment for you making a snowstorm in a jar. For this experiment all you're going to need is some baby oil, some acrylic white paint, water, a jar, mixing uh, cups or spoons, and some Alka-Seltzer. You can use white food coloring, however we discovered that white food coloring is very hard to source where I live and it is quite expensive and I want to keep this budget friendly for the classroom. It does have a small issue using the acrylic paint that I'll discuss in a moment, but it still makes a really fun snowstorm effect in the jar caused by a chemical reaction. So let's get to it and do our experiment for today. So we're going to go ahead and grab our supplies. So we've got our baby oil, our acrylic paint, a mixing glass, jar, some water, and our Alka-Seltzer. So we've got our little cup here with about a quarter cup of water. We're adding some white acrylic paint to it and we're gonna mix it up really well. Now we're going to add some of that to the bottom of the jar. You'll want to adjust your ratios based on the size of your jars. So you want about a centimeter or so at the bottom of your jar there. Now we're going to add our baby oil. Now we did test adding the baby oil first and then our white paint and water mixture. However, we found that adding the baby oil in second, probably due to the fact that oil floats on water, it gave a much cleaner and better effect for our snowstorm. But you can go ahead and test it with your kids either way. Don't fill it all the way to the top as our chemical reaction could cause it to overflow. And now we're ready to trigger our chemical reaction in our snowstorm. We're going to break up some Alka-Seltzer tablets, drop them in the jar, and watch our snowstorm start. So as you can see, as the Alka-Seltzer dissolves, it causes a chemical reaction. This is because Alka-Seltzer has citric acid and sodium bicarbonate in it, and this is an acid and a base reaction. The reaction releases some carbon dioxide gas, which takes up some of the white paint and water to the top of the jar, and then as that gas escapes, the paint falls back down to the bottom. So here we're going to get a little quick peek at the top there and you can see those bubbles just going in our chemical reaction. So this is a really quick and easy experiment. You might recognize it. It's very similar to our lava lamp experiment. However, in that one we used food coloring. In this one we're using white paint and you can see the white paint does stick to the sides of the jars. You can just go through and wipe that off in between your reactions to get it clean again and start your snowstorms all over again. This is a great experiment to do with your kids in the classroom or at home as part of a winter science chemistry study. We hope you enjoyed this experiment. Have a great day. Bye for now.